parents of, of students with disabilities are never in the majority. We're never the most vocal group. Um, like a lot of people are just, you know, if you think of like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, like we're just surviving. I feel like sometimes we're like, students with disabilities are just that afterthought. So hopefully um, enough parents have been squeaky wheels and made their voices heard and, and communicated that, you know, they need to be a significant consideration in this planning process. I hope that through this shared experience that um, we'll get more parents out there who, who will want what's best for all children. So it's not a disability, it's a different ability. And the important thing is for people to understand that you learn different, that uh, you're very capable, that you know, you can do anything that you wanna do if you have the right resources to help you be successful. You know, I credit the teachers, I credit the teachers a ton. Um, they were, they never thought they'd have to do this. Um, you know, they're certainly not trained for this full time, but they're adjusting on the fly. They're doing the very best that they can. I've just been really grateful for just the collaboration, really, because why not? Um, we're all connected and this shows us how connected we all are. And I think the working together is something that I hope continues as we move forward and come out of this. I think that the best thing that they could do would be make classrooms smaller. Because one thing that I've learned is that small group settings help children with learning differences in a big way. I really hope that, um, that the awareness of uh, the disproportionate gap that's happening for students with disabilities translates into um, careful planning and decision making uh, when, as schools are preparing their budgets for the next school year. You know, more people are seeing this and more people appreciate it, um, especially in you know, general classrooms. I think, it's, I think it's important to remember that you have kids in there who, you know, some, it comes easy to some kids and it doesn't for others. And if we learn anything from this, I hope it's to have a little more empathy for uh, the kids who struggle and, and really have to work hard and um, are getting through a very, you know, kind of an, an unrelentingly weird time where structure is stripped away and yet, you know, we're all still going on and we're all still making it work. And I, I hope that people see that and appreciate it and aren't so quick to judge because of it.